Hello there and welcome back to Scotland. So I'm just trying to negotiate this big bog. My first stop is this beautiful location. Look at the colours here. Absolutely spectacular. Coming up through Loch Lomond and all the way up towards Glencoe here where I am now. The colours are just incredible. And I've come here to try and photograph the buckle, which you can't see because of the cloud. But mainly come for this massive waterfall. It doesn't look as good as I was out before, but join me shortly and we're going to have a quick little look at it. Just look at this business. I did think it'd be quite a bit more water on, to be honest. But um, yeah, it looks all right. It looks all right. I think I'm going to take a shot here, and I'm going to take another shot just down here, looking up the fall. Um, you can just see a little bit of the buckle coming out in the top now. Let me show you the back of the camera as to what I'm going to do. It would be nice if I could just get a gap on the buckle just to see the top through the cloud and the top of the tree. It would look quite nice that would. I'll show you the back of the camera. So for this shot, um, I am literally interested in the tree straight in front. There's some beautiful little bit of orange here, a little bit of orange there. The, the buckle was just showing just but it's, it's now gone again. I can feel rain behind, oh guys chucking down behind. Um, I'm gonna get these couple of shots and get back, it's gonna chuck down any second. The settings for this, ISO 400, it is dark here. The tree is moving as well, so I wanna try and freeze a little bit. F8, 40th of a second, two second timers on. There's the shot. I'll put this on for you right now. So, what did you think of that shot? Do you like it? I've just moved round now, so I'm looking up the waterfall with a tree. The buckle is just to the left, which you can't see, so I'm not that worried about. But the tree is absolutely stunning. There's a little bit of heather in the foreground. There is rain coming out of this behind us here, so we just had a little sprinkling. I, was, I thought I was going to get soaked. But uh, it has stopped quite quickly. I think it's going just the other side of the hill there. But this looks absolutely tremendous. Let me turn you around and just show you. Just look at this. Absolutely fantastic. This is such a stunning waterfall. We're on a team, a team more. And the hill here, as you've seen from probably previous videos, uh, they call it the buckle. I'll put the spelling on here for you. It's not spelled buckle, but I will put the spelling on for you. It looks fantastic. You can see a bit of the mountain again now, so I'm gonna get a shot quick and I'll talk you through what I'm doing. Beautiful scene though, absolutely beautiful scene. So for this shot, um, I'm gonna shoot this as a vertical because I want all the water falling. I want this little bit of heather, which has still got a little bit of color on it. Uh, the tree is moving quite a bit, so I've upped the ISO again to 400. I'm a little bit underexposed, eighth of a second, um, sorry, F8, and I've got 40th of a second. I'm hoping that's just going to freeze the tree enough um, so it looks static. I don't want to up the ISO much more, so I am going to try this. I have got a polarizing filter on to try and get some colour in the water down here, there's some beautiful blues and turquoise colours 
looks fantastic. The top of the buckle is just trying to come out now, so I think I am going to just hang on with this shot for a couple of seconds and see if I can get some uh, a bit of mounting. Absolutely stunning, man. So I'm now going to move round towards my right a bit, just to um, see if I catch one of the smaller little falls. Such a stunning place, you can spend all day down here, it's absolutely beautiful it is. Just beautiful. The colours up here are incredible. There's reds, oranges, yellows, there's green, oh it's just amazing. Absolutely amazing. Just look at that behind. Superb. It is absolutely worth taking up here. So I'm now going to try and, I'm going to find my dog as well as run off. It's quite boggy and muddy so the car's going to be in a right state when I get back to that. Ah, talking to the devil, she's here. Bless her. Right, join me in a minute and we're going to try a little bit farther round. So I've been holding out for a little bit just to see if the cloud is going to break up on top of the buckle. As you can see there, it is still there, it's still there, it's not going to move I don't think. So a little bit of rain in the air and there is a rainbow in front of me. I'm trying to pick my path because I have just sunk right over the top of my boots. It is so boggy here, it's unbelievable. Let me just turn you around and see if you can see this rainbow. Don't know if it's going to pick up on the GoPro. Absolutely beautiful. Just look at that. If you can see it, stunning. Just look at this for a view. Oh, I could stop here all day, but I've got so far to go. I've got miles to go yet. So. I am going to, uh, I'm going to try and stop farther up through Glencoe Pass. So hopefully maybe catch a waterfall or something up there as well. Um, there will be, because I'm in a rush to get up, there's probably going to be a couple of short videos. Um, I can't get over, I, I, just the colours up here, absolutely spectacular. Just look at this, spectacular. I'm loving it. I wish I'd got time to just stop here. I keep saying I'm going to book a PB somewhere around Glencoe or Glencoe Pass and just spend a few days up here. I think I need to do it. It is just incredible. The colours now, if you want autumn colours, I'll tell you what, you can't go wrong with Scotland. You come up here all the way from Loch Lomond, literally. I'm just coming into Glencoe Pass now. It is just spectacular. Everything has turned and it's just, just so beautiful. So, yeah. I'm gonna head back to the car, see if I can clean my boots on the way, because I'm absolutely manky. Uh, Betty's already down by the car, black, so. She's in trouble, I'm get the car manky. Uh, please check out the links below in the description. Don't forget to like, subscribe, your support is really appreciated. Uh, tick a little notification bell and you get notified next time the video, there's a video on, and I've just come the wrong route. I'll put all the photographs on there, there's only sort of three or four. They do look absolutely gorgeous, these photos. Yeah, until next time. Take it easy, enjoy the photos.